Welcome to CP101 and this is a uh, update on the coronet and today is decal day. Uh, we've taken the original decal sheet it came with a kit which is right here. We scanned it into Corel Paint Shop Pro. We scanned it in at 1200 dpi and now we have a copy of the original uh, well somewhat original sheet. Uh, I removed the Super B logo and cleaned up the stripe using the clone brush here. The clone brush, all you do is, uh, it, it's a great feature. When you click on the uh, clone brush, uh, all you do is, uh, you right click it, oop, I'm sorry, got the shift key. You right click it in any area that you want to copy. And then just, uh, it'll, see where that X is? It'll pick up anything there and transfer it to the brush. And then uh, that's what it'll uh, uh, put underneath the brush. So just by using uh, that clone brush, we removed the logo and cleaned up the stripe because you can't see it on here, but when you scan it, you can see the stripe. Which one is it? It's this one here. Had a bad spot right here. Uh, probably from all the years that the instruction book sat on the lacquer. Uh, but uh, I fixed that uh, in here. So now we have... Uh, a cleaned up stripe we have the logo removed and we're all set to uh, have it ready to be modified so we have a custom rear stripe um, so once I did all that then we've added the custom rear stripe here uh, by just by adding the 440RT text to the stripe and I put it in green uh, I wanted a little brighter green than the body green because <clears throat> I want this to stand out so uh, we used the built-in font. I don't know what font I used. I don't remember. And then just added a 440RT. And they're about the area where the logo was. So I'm hoping I got it right. Uh, I won't know until I actually put it on the car. So, But they should be fairly close. Uh, then when I was done with the stripe, I wanted to change the plates because the decal sheet comes with these boring plates. All it says on it is Illinois and it says Mopar. And I wanted something different, so our coronet is going to have a rear plate that says Scat Pack, and I used the um, Acme license plate maker, the the website, to make the Scat Pack uh, rear plate. Uh, this is a '71 Ohio. I looked for a 1969 year, but they don't have it for Ohio. The closest I can get was a 1971 plate, so I just went with that. But anyway, we got Scat Pack for the rear. Then the front plate, uh, we have a DC plate, and I had one of these on my charger. And I'm surprised it never got stopped for not having a front plate because I had this instead. But um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to put a front plate on it like I, I did on my charger. So I went on Google Images, found an image of the plate, imported it into Paint Shop Pro, shrink it down, and uh, now we have a DC front plate. And did the same thing for the rear plate. Uh, imported it, shrank it down, and put it on the decal sheet. So now we have two uh, pretty cool plates, custom plates, and then we have our custom RT rear stripe in black. And uh, that that was uh, really about it. Just using the clone brush is all I used on this one to uh, change it over. And then uh, the text function to add the 440 RT, and then we had to flip it around and do all that other happy junk to get it to align up and as I said before I hope it's aligned up I won't know until I get it on the car so our next step and that was printed out um, I'll probably use clear decal paper because I want the body green to show through the stripe because uh, as most of you know your inkjet doesn't print the color white so this plate is not going to be actually inked in. It's going to be the color of the backing paper. So when I go to put this front plate on the uh, coronet, this white plate is going to turn green. Now what I can do is I can print this out on white paper, but then I'd have to color in using Paint Shop Pro, I have to modify the green in the palette and get it close to 
the green I used on the body of the coronet and paint this in green. And that's really the only decals we're going to use on this sheet is the stripe and the plates. I have other decals. I have a whole bag of spare decals if I need anything else like the RT emblem. I think I have a decal sheet here that came out of the Landy Charger. So the next step was to print it out on uh, just regular printer paper so I can uh, make sure that it's the exact same size as the original decal sheet. So what I did first was measure this. Put those measurements in Paint Shop Pro and made a template. Let me open it up here and I'll show you. Uh, there's an uh, option called Print Layout, which is right here. And then uh, you can save a project under template. So I saved it to where it saves the graphic with the template. So uh, right here. So now uh, after measuring this, I put those measurements in the Paint Shop Pro and it made uh, the graphic the same size as this. So then I print it out to make sure that everything's okay because sometimes Paint Shop Pro will make it a little smaller than what the original was. But I take and print it out and then I compare, you know, if it's the same size. Like, see how this is just slightly a little smaller? It's a little smaller. What I printed out about, uh, about an eighth of an inch. So I adjusted this uh, to where when it prints out, it prints out the exact same size as the original decal sheet. So once I made some test runs to make sure it was printing out the same size I need, I then took my clear decal paper, which is right here, and I printed it out on clear decal paper and I'm just letting it dry. Uh, it takes, at least for my printer, it takes a while for this ink to dry. Um, my printer is that cheap ass brother printer, so it doesn't do that great of a job. And it takes a while for the ink to dry because if you clear coat this too soon, all that ink will run or put decal bonder on it, which is what I'm going to use, the tester's decal bonder, and that ink will run. So I just give it like three or four days for that ink to uh, dry before I put the uh, bonder on it. But you can see they're exactly the same, exact same size. So that stripe should match up to the body perfect. So that's the story on the decals. So as I said, we'll let that dry there and then we'll hit it with the bonder and we should have a custom stripe. And if the uh, decals don't work out using clear paper, then we'll use white paper and then it'll just, we'll just have to color in the uh, stripe. I hope I don't have to do that, but if we have to, we have to. So, uh, so that's it on the decal side. We got that all done and back to working on the coronet. So, until the next update guys, take care and we'll see you then.